Whoa, whoa, whoa. Even before I said hi, Aquarius, high priestess flew out. Beautiful, beautiful. There are some things you need to start cutting out. There you are, Aquarius. Listen to your guidance. Where is it coming from? Your high, yourself, your intuition, your heart space. Well, there was, there goes your reading. Kidding. Sit down. Get comfortable. How are you? My name is Svetlana and welcome if you're returning welcome back still Svetlana still using that joke this is for my gorgeous sun moon rising and Venus how are you this is going to be your June love reading and if you're going well Svetlana it's not June 2021 and I clicked on this guess what you were guided here this is important that's why i have to whisper <laughs> yes just remember anything that you ever do is uh pretty much a it has to happen there are only synchronicities there are no accidents or coincidence why are we so guarded oh, oh my god literally why are we so guarded three of swords oh heartbreak all right all right let's see well those are the choices you have to make remember i said listen to your um intuition to your gut feeling there we go um what else oh yes why are we here thank you for asking svetlana we are here to work on ourselves to heal ourselves you saw the heart to shine our light and love unto others to make their light and love shine therefore shifting the collective consciousness to live in a more loving more compassionate giving um beautiful world and who doesn't want that i do you do <laughs> i do all right now we're married let's go beautiful sweet and short we got so many messages coming in you guys are talking and let's go for my aquarius here we go you're back you're literally back saying hello i'm in my power i know now you've learned queen of swords doesn't just like show up out of nowhere it involves what evolution of what your soul it involves heartbreaks it involves experiences knowledge is power and that's what put you there but look you see the little ba uh, butterfly balancing on your sword patient you are so patient because now you have the knowledge now you're just sitting there and you're like if this is for me this is for me divine timing and that's what it's about you believe in it you trust it you have faith in it and what's faith faith is just confidence and our vision beautiful are we for reals are we for reals high priestess that's your challenge to your souls for june is to tune in into your higher self and listen to where you're being guided beautiful because remember the only place you can find answers it's not in tarot readings it's not out there it's where it's inside of you two of swords yeah you got a decision to uh you have two twos now duality three of swords ace of swords okay king of swords ah counterpart you have a king and uh, queen of swords could be dealing with another air sign gemini libra aquarius that's a lot of swords you guys all i'm putting pulling <laughs> all i'm pulling and putting down are swords so we, we have to get from here to where in here wheel of fortune gorgeous beautiful beautiful new cycle is about to begin when I say beautiful, I literally mean beautiful. Thank you, universe. Look, look what came out. The next card, the sun. This is this is silly. I'm, this is ultimate happiness. You just have to spin that wheel, baby. Spin that wheel. Okay, could be dealing with a Capricorn. We got the devil. We'll clarify. Avi, five of pentacles. Hmm. What's your overall energy, Libra? Okay, you want balance. And what did I say when I was looking at your card? I said divine timing. And what's Libra? Libra is justice. And everything, justice comes when? All in divine timing. We can't force it. We can't push it. And we're not sitting around here waiting for it, right? We know it's coming. And we know it will come in divine timing. That's what happens when you have faith and patience in the universe. And this is what we're about to... um get into uh get in this reading we're about to secure that faith and let's go let's go what's your intuition trying to tell you high priestess here for my aquarius high priestess 
Oh, oh yeah. Ten of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. The Lovers. <laughs> More Gemini energy. Balance. Six of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. How do you attain this balance? How do you come into balance within yourself and in your 3D world, your souls? You plant the seeds in Seven of Pentacles once again. This is literally... Remember with the butterfly, I said patience. With justice, I said patience. And just like that, working on yourself, working on your 3D world requires what? Patience. And that's what your intuition is trying to tell you. Be patient with yourself. You can't grow a garden, in, you know, in seconds. You know how you have flowers, you plant something. Do you literally turn around every three seconds going, oh, where are the results? Where's the results? No, because when you're pushing it, you won't see the results. You'll, you'll actually restrict anything from coming in. It also requires you to drop old energies to literally, now that you recognize your power, now that you have the knowledge, you do, you're carrying way too much. Aquarius, I want to say Libra, I might be dealing with a Libra, but you are carrying way too much. You need to go within and ask spirit, ask your higher self, what is it that I need to drop? Because my focus needs to be somewhere else. My focus needs to be on these seeds that my subconscious wants to grow. And once again, balance. I'm not even going to jump into a soulmate connection. This is, we got two sixes. This is a balance within yourself that I want you to recognize. This is a balance within you that you need to find. Could be a heart and mind balance because all I'm seeing is swords here. Let's go. Let's clarify three of swords, please. For my Aquarius. Three of Pentacles. High Priestess. Oh my God, itchy eye. Oh, Page of Pentacles. All right. Oh my gosh, okay. Dare I say someone's going to come in and then try to work on this? It's going to put you in your head. It's going to put you in your head. And I know the five of pentacles is not you. I don't I don't feel that's your energy. The feeling left out and the cold. Someone's coming in. We'll clarify. But it's going to put you in your head. It's going to require a decision. A decision that we have. Who's going to help you with this decision? Like I said, no tarot reading is ever going to answer anything for you. This is just got tarot's guidance. Tarot is a state of pausing time and reflection right it's meditation basically high priestess is what how do we channel high priestess in meditation form this is all you need for clarity your souls that's trying to come in meditate meditate because when this apology does come in whatever it's a message an apology to start building to want to, do you see like in this deck there's a wiser older man teaching this kids a kind of not a condescending energy but um in the other uh, decks it's like oh let's work together let's build together here it's a little more hey hey let me why don't you sit down and why don't i tell you because you do have two people with swords right i'm not seeing any cups yet so they could be coming in and going hey 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 this is either my way or the highway or it's it's a little condescending so this is what's going to put you in your head right they're not coming in with a page of cups or you know i'm not seeing that so this is what's going to require you to quiet your mind and go into your heart intuitive space thank you because there's a lot of swords here no one's i don't see any approach from the heart yet let's go um two of swords what's gonna why are you in your head seven of wands six of cups yeah past person nine of swords god oh my gosh aquarius 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 nine of swords this is letting the ego mind um go on autopilot eight of swords on the bottom of the deck all right you're keeping yourself um way too focused on the past you're playing you're replaying you're playing you're not you're having a difficulty being in the now and remember all we have is the now and this is what the high priestess once again is here to remind you when you meditate you come into the now and you can see what do i always say in silence we find clarity where do we not find clarity we don't find it 
in the nine of swords overthinking doubt and fear cloud not even judgment they cloud your heart space you're up here and not here right spirit wants you to be confident spirit wants you to know you have every ability to make decisions you don't have to overthink you don't have to be indecisive all you need to do is open do you see his chest is open to the universe he's ready to receive thank you spirit here we go that's why um the lovers is here it's a balance of masculine and feminine what's feminine it's receiving what's masculine it's giving so either you're giving too much and not receiving enough or you're receiving too much and not giving make sure you know where um what to work on what part is it and i'm gonna have a gander i'm saying i don't think you're receiving i don't think you're receiving so please 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 work on your um opening up your heart chakra could have uh trust issues not sure who needed to hear that um, that that's really a heart close. It will close up your heart if you have heart. Um, if you have trust issues, then you don't have trust in yourself. You don't have faith, and it, it blocks your prana flowing. Please, please, please meditate. See what's blocked. See, do shadow work. See what needs to be opened up in order to receive. Because when you are closed off, the universe can't send you anything. Your soul, especially the sun. Oh, beautiful. Please, please, please get out of your mind. Get out of your head. Meditate. Well, who's this King of Swords? Please. Who's this King of Swords in your near future? King of Swords. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Transformation. We have death here. We have death here. We have someone moving very slowly towards you. Knight of Pentacles to make this offer, right? Once again, you have um, Pentacle offers. Someone will offer their time. Someone will offer their time wanting to rebuild, right? But guess what? It cannot be the same. It can Whether this is past person, new person, whatever it is, something needs to change your souls. And this could be you working on giving and receiving in the past relationship right you cannot take the same energy that you had into something new or even if you want to revive something you can't take it you have to um go through a transformation because the wheel of fortune is a new cycle and if you want something new you have to come in with new energy and once again you have now you have three twos you have a lot of decisions and these are the twos are spiritual decisions right and this is going to be head decision and once again remember we always get sometimes we get confused whether we want to do something because we think we want to do something or we want to do it because our spirit is being pulled towards it june is the month for you to um to learn how to know the difference right what you're being is this logical am i doing this out of logic am i doing this out of other people's opinions my opinion beliefs or am i doing this because my soul craves it because my intuition is saying this is for me uh june is the month of finding new ways to make decisions right beautiful beautiful um what's the who's the devil could be dealing with a capricorn we have a king of pentacles What's the devil here? What's the devil here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Two cards flew out. <laughs> Seven of uh, cups. King of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And four of wands. Beautiful. We have strength. Spiritual strength. Okay. Okay, so the devil here, dear souls, um, before everyone's like, oh my God, they're so toxic. Guess what? We're all toxic everyone's toxic i don't care what you say you're like but svetlana i'm gonna log off there's no way i'm toxic um newsflash right from the high, uh, high priestess you me grandma over there everyone's toxic that's why we have to meditate that's why we have to do shadow work inner child work that's why we work on our inner selves that's how what that's how we start off our readings nothing can change until we welcome in transformation meditate your souls quiet your mind do you see we started out the table was filled with swords 
now the best swords well ace of swords obviously but also four of swords where you what you quiet your mind you place your thoughts in order and you don't feed them you just lay there you sit there in meditation you stop feeding scenarios and you just be you tune in into your higher self just just be in the moment in the now what did i say a lot of you were struggling to be in the now because you're so focused on the past and when you're meditating all these options seven of cups all these illusions illusions thank you they start to clear away they start to clear away and you start to see clearly you start gaining knowledge right no more random illusions random thoughts this could be this could be your toxicity uh dear souls you have way too many ideas flowing in and then you go into illusions then you play these games these scenarios of oh could have should have would have and then you paralyze yourself in thought right without making a decision because you don't trust your intuition thank you that's why high priestess is here twice you need to come into certainty that whatever you're um, being pulled to whatever you're being guided is for you right beautiful five of pentacles oh and spiritual strength that's the most that's when you come in to trusting your decision making right beautiful empress spiritual strength leads you to empress mode beautiful uh five of pentacles please for uh, aquarius clarity what did i say best card is ace of swords and four of swords and you're getting it dear souls you're finally getting it ten of pentacles oh my god the chariot and ace of cups oh two of cups underneath i'm dead i am i dear souls whether this is you them whoever this is whoever is feeling left out whatever it is once you come out of that headspace where it's like um I don't need clarity from them clarity communication might come in from the other person if you're waiting for it sure but remember we don't need closure or clarity we get it ourselves we get it within we go and meditate right you can't expect anything from others to make you feel better and you can't expect anyone to come around and fill your heart with love you have to learn and you have to recognize that is all in your power, right? Once you do that, dear souls, dear souls, the chariot arrives. This is your lotus. This is your spirit. Once you start doing all these things, once you start welcoming transformation, once you start listening to your higher self, your, um, your spirit gets fed. Your intuition gets fed. And this is where you're heading. You're heading to love, um, happiness, and a happy home life this is what you open up for yourself right aquarius this is beautiful reading beautiful reading make sure you're meditating make sure you're clearing your mind make sure you're balanced once again make sure your heart and mind is balanced and make sure you you recognize your power of what thoughts you what scenarios you want to feed and um because remember, overthinking, Eckhart Tolle said, is a disease. So please, please, please start noticing awareness. Thank you. Come into awareness of your thoughts and emotions. Because look where it's heading. Where Look, once you start doing that, this is when the chariot arrives and takes you to 10 of pentacles, love and happiness. And guess what? This doesn't have to be 3D. This is all inside of you. And the chariot is not even going anywhere. It's going with and beautiful. Oh, two of cups. Getting aligned with your higher self in June. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Aquarius. Um, if this resonates, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. Love to hear from you. Thank you. Love you. Namaste.